And we were talking also about the spoons and forks in the last session. I just want to show you how elaborate some people have gotten. This is a fork that's all been bent up and made as a handle with a spoon in the middle, a spoon uh, section in the middle flattened out and a little wind chime made out of that. Here's another one where the, the fork has been bent and the spoons have been flattened out. And listen how wonderful that is for a wind chime. Now, as you can see, there's a, a bunch of different things that we make wind chimes out of. And what I do is I save every broomstick or mop handle and I cut them at different lengths just to keep them ready when I come up with a wind chime. And what we do is we drill holes one approximately one inch apart all the way across and then I tie something around it and that's the beginning of a wind chime or the handle for a wind chime to hold it. Now the secret of wind chimes so that they don't tangle is to start the first row as evenly as you possibly can and the last row as evenly as you possibly can and it's more difficult for it to uh, tangle when you do it that way. An example would be this one. These are orange juice caps. Now what we do is you take a nail and bang a little hole on the top and on the bottom and use fishing tackle to tie the top and you can either stop here and then put another piece or go right through this fishing tackle goes right through all the way to the bottom but you can see this first row is as even as possible across here and across the bottom so that it won't tangle up it's, it's easier not to tangle if you do it that way here's one we made with peanut butter, jelly, mustard, every kind of jar top you can imagine. And again, it's hard for them to tangle up when you start the first row evenly and the last row evenly. And I, I don't have it here with me today, but also you can make them with paint lids. If you can imagine how large the paint lid of a, a gallon paint can lid is, you start collecting all of your different uh, lids and you get enough to make a, a, a wonderful wind chime. The wild thing is that you don't know what it's going to sound like until you start tying them all together. You could hit just one particular thing like, here, here's some screws. Now you hit a screw and it may not sound too interesting but when you put a bunch of them together now believe it or not on a microphone that's such a wonderful sound and we use this a lot in the studios for different subtle sounds that we need you can go to the key shop and usually the the key man he has so many rejects he's not supposed to give them to you because I guess uh, someone could probably use them, but if they're a reject, they didn't work well on the door anyway. So you can ask them for them, tell them you're doing a project, and in most cases, they will give you some keys. And by the way, this will play in any key. Here's one we put together with prime rib bones. And we've used every one of these sounds in the studios. There's never enough different variety of sounds that you can have in your collection of percussion instruments or just to have around the home. Now here's one we we made with just the these are slides from micro, microscopes and what we did was we just painted them with some kind of glass paint 
So we save every kind of thing that might work to hang, hang these things with. I'll show you a few more. Here's one we made with just pieces of wood left over at, from a, a fence that we built. And we just painted them a little bit so you get a little interesting color with them. Now, do you know what these are? These are what you fix your divot with on the golf course. And I just thought, when you, when you hit one or two of these things, they never sound. And you can't tell what they're going to sound like until you start hanging with the fishing tackle. You can hear how wonderful they sound. Drummers should never throw away their old drumsticks. These are old drumsticks that either broke or the one got lost out of the pair. We're just putting those together. Chemical tubes that they use in the laboratory, we just put a bunch of these together. These are the little bottles that they used to serve on the airplane. And if you can see, this one is blue in color. What I did at one time was to put artificial color in all of these bottles and hang this up against a window. And how lovely to have the sun shine on all these bottles with different colors of water in there. So you might want to consider that when you make your wind chime. That's one of the most beautiful sounds, isn't it? Now I've also made one with wrenches. Now when you clank one wrench against the other, it doesn't sound good at all. But if you hang your wrenches with fishing tackle and play them this way, they're louder and more beautiful than these are. 